What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here to talk about the brand new Young LA Curve collection that's dropping along with a ton of other pieces during their Black Friday sale, which is Tuesday, November 21st at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Young LA's Black Friday drop is going to be divided into two parts. Here we have the Urban Collection. That's gonna be more street style, athleisure, jackets, shackets, you name it, a lot of sweats too, so tons of loungewear. And then over here, we have the Curve Collection. This is a little more feminine, dainty pieces. We're looking at mini skirts. We're looking at really cute sports bras, long sleeve bra tops. This is going to be gym wear mostly. When I tell you there's like 50 different items that are dropping, it would just simply be too much to try to cram into a YouTube video. So I tried to narrow it down to what I thought you guys would want to see the most, which would probably be their active wear, right? Yep. I will definitely be going over the Urban Collection pieces, but just not here in an in-depth review video. So stay posted on my Instagram stories, stay posted on YouTube shorts. That's where I'll be briefly going over these other pieces that are featured in the Urban Collection. I'm actually wearing the shacket right now, this beautiful brown plaid. This is actually pretty warm, very good quality. They're very oversized too, so you could size down. As I mentioned, all of these pieces you're about to see are dropping right when the Black Friday sale starts. So not only only are you going to be hit with a ton of new drops, but they're also going to be discounted straight out of the gate. If you use my code Ashley G, that will automatically take 30% off. That's basically going to activate the sale. When you hop on the site to shop the sale, you're going to see use code Black Friday for 30% off. You totally could do that, but if you do choose to use an athlete code, just know it does go directly towards helping them out and supporting them, all while still giving you the very same discount that you would get with the other code. So thank you very much if you do choose to support me. This really does help my relationship with Young LA, which in turn keeps these reviews and hauls coming your way. That rhymed, didn't it? It did. Now let's talk about the curve. Curvy, curvy, curvy. What the fuck am I looking at? Woo, breaking a sweat, baby. So there's two types of shorts that are dropping in this collection, seamless and non-seamless. First of all, this color is beautiful. It's like a cinnamon brown color. Let's start with the seamless bottoms. So we have shorts and leggings. You know me, girl, I'm going for the fall colors right about now. So dark brown, cinnamon, yes, please. So these are high-waisted, relatively small waistband. Do you see that? Now they did put the logo on the back. In the core collection, they started putting it on the front. They threw it right on the back here. We have a nice subtle V seam, but check out that glute space. When I first First grabbed these, I was like, oh my God, there's like barely any glute space. When putting it on, this material really does stretch out. You see that? The only thing is, is it was a little bit snug on me. I felt it right away, even in the leggings. I was like, mm, I wish I sized up. I think it would have been a little bit more comfortable and I would have had some proper glute space. Still made the glutes look pretty good for there being no scrunch bump. But if I could do it all over again, I think I would have sized up. These are not like the core leggings, okay? These are a ton thicker. It's not that really thin stuff stocking feel like the Alfley Amplify. This actually reminded me so much of the Lazuli label V seam. You guys heard me raving about that legging like months and months and months until they stopped making it. <laughs> this is just like that, except more compressive. This is great material. I actually was able to shimmy it up, smooth it out, perfect length. There's no weird gaping, no wrinkling. This material is super durable for the gym. It's not that buttery soft pilling fabric. This almost feels like how the Alphalete Amplify would have been if they just thickened up that material. Or I guess in this case, you can say how that core collection would feel if they made this body of the legging thicker. But yet this is still very breathable. It's still super stretchy and functional for the gym. Now I know that you're seeing in the overlap, you're like, wait a minute, they're launching like a white pair of shorts. Yeah, it's like a white creamy color. They're beautiful, don't get it twisted, but they're completely sheer. Like just standing, you could see my black undies. Obviously wear some nude underwear with that one. In terms of these shorts rolling up, they don't, they do not. They're very good like that, but you can see how much they're cinching around my thighs, right? Definitely would have sized up, especially in in the shorts, it would have made the most sense for me. Now I know not everybody out there loves the seamless fit and that's all good. So check out their seamed shorts. Now these run snug as well. So I definitely would have sized up if I could do it over again. They're very similar to the shorts you just saw, except seamed, more buttery soft, 
more yoga inspired, more athleisure. If you're looking for low key movements, and you're not just into that like heavy material, heavier material, then this would be for you. Not as durable when grinding in the gym. So definitely wouldn't do anything intense. But if you're somebody more low key, more lifestyle oriented, you know, you just grabbed your cup of matcha and you're about to do some stretches, some yoga with your yoga instructor, then this would be great for you. It is very tight around my thighs, like so stupidly tight. But then again, I just have to size up in these bottoms. They do roll just a little bit on me, but nothing crazy. They even went with a daintier logo. Printed on the back, it's more of a gel feel to it, is a nice script text. Fits the daintier pieces very nicely. Now, according to the site here, it says these are biker shorts. No. I uh, put them on and I would have never thought biker shorts in a day of my life. I would have never thought that. Talk to me about this mini skirt. Out of the gate, it is cold as hell here in New Jersey. So I probably won't be breaking these out anytime soon. Now this is a skort. You have built-in shorts, very comfortable. They do not cinch. They ride up a little bit when really squatting and moving around. But gosh, is this a comfortable mini skirt. You do have a real thick elastic band right here though. So keep that in mind. Very true to size. If you're in between, I probably would suggest sizing up if you want to avoid any potential cinching with this heavy elastic band. You do have one internal side pocket. So if you look at the overlap, you can see it's definitely tighter. It's not a pleated, puffy looking skirt. There's some body fit to it, but it's not ultra tight where it's tough to walk in. I was very curious when I saw this because like, this overlay here, is this gonna shimmy up when I walk though? When you pull it all the way down, how it's supposed to fit and then walk in it, it held up great. I noticed when I just put it on and leave it, it looks a little fudged up. <laughs> So pull down the overlay and you should be okay. Pretty soft material too. So I think that you can get away with wearing this all day and be just fine. The logo, just like the shorts, very tonal and it blends right in. I almost didn't see it, but it is scripted right on the side of the skirt here. Young LA's flares are one of the most flattering flares I've ever worn. No joke, except they're long. <laughs> I'm shuffling on the ground. It's nothing I could do. Even with my chunky sneakers, my Uggs, you name it. It's just, you know, I would really love if they came in multiple lengths. That'd be so wonderful because these genuinely fit so beautifully, especially on the peach. Reminds me so much of their Vital Flare that they just launched. Very low compression, extremely stretchy, but the length is gonna make it a no for me. They're dropping three sports bras. The contour bra, the the essential sports bra, which I'm wearing right now. And last but not least, the long sleeve sports bra. It's a literal built-in bra in this long sleeve. This contour bra, woo. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be my favorite. This style is so me. I love that crazy stuff. If they're functional Tarzan pieces, I love them even more. Now, this one has a grip liner right on the side where there's no physical strap. It just helps to keep it up. That's what she said. The thing is, is when you're really working out in this, doing a lot of overhead exercises, this will eventually slowly start to make its way down. It's one of those things where I'm being mindful and pulling it back up, which kind of sucks when you're trying to focus on a workout. I think it's overall very comfortable, but there's not a lot of boob space. Are you seeing this? It's tiny. Definitely for the smaller chest gals out there. I think I'm a little too big for this, okay? Sometimes I feel like I'm spilling out just a bit. I don't think this is as supportive as I need it. Like I could totally get away with this if there were multiple straps supporting my boobies. It's kind of a recipe for a disaster. And there's the tiniest little itty bitty elastic band underneath. So very low support. It is a show bra without a doubt. Now the essential sports bras, a little more my speed. Still shows off the girls really lovely. The straps are so buttery, soft, stretchy, comfortable, non-adjustable. I actually think my size small is perfect. If in between, I almost would say size down only because there's a little extra room. You know, this material right here is a nice overlay and it works nicely. But if sized up too much, you might have some excess material here. Bra pads are great. This internal bra support, like I said, it's a built-in bra, almost like a, a very short line cami. The backing is beautiful. I just think they did a great job on this bra. It really does make sense to call it the essential bra because this is great for all day wear. I can't pinpoint something I don't like about this bra, to be honest. And especially when I ran it through a workout, it held up wonderfully. This is definitely a grab and go, no thoughts needed. You can do a lot in it type of bra. It is still low to moderate support. So if you have really large breasts, you might struggle here. I mean, 
it's semi low cut. The long sleeve bra, are you kidding me right now? This is a very wide square neckline. Very beautiful, soft, feels like those yoga shorts I showed you. All of these have that same material to it. They're not seamless whatsoever, but it's so freaking comfortable and the stretch is real. Only thing here is this built-in bra, is it good for the gym? Look at this overlap and tell me what you think. Absolutely not, no. I didn't even stand a chance. Like, it's not even like I had to do a bunch of reps for it to shimmy up. You just can't lift your arms high up. Fashion purposes only. The pads are removable, so you can absolutely take them out, but there's no band, no support underneath here. It's a seam. That's it. Just a seam keeping these two materials together intact. If you're going to like a T-Swift concert <laughs> or any concert, you're going out for drinks, this is a great top. This is super duper cute. Very, very flattering in my opinion, but functional at the gym is just a big no-no. So no lap pull downs, no going apple picking, no doing the YMCA in this. Girl, you best just keep your arms down. I'm great with my size small, in between size up though. Definitely size up. Now they're actually dropping a seamless long sleeve crop to go with your gym sets. First thing I notice is it's very, very snug. Size up off the bat. But it's one of those just classic long sleeves that you wear to a gym. Very stretchy, goes perfectly with those seamless leggings that I shared in the beginning of the video. I do feel like it is very short lined to the point where you can see a sports bra underneath, especially if you're raising your hands. Keep that in mind, right on the back is where I started seeing my sports bra come through. But you have the matching logo. This is a very very straightforward piece, but I do like the little contoured movements. Like if you look closely, it's actually arrows going down your arm. Very dynamic. I'm not a big long sleeve active wear kind of person. I have to be in a mood to wear it and not feel restricted. So I think if I sized up, this would be a lot more comfortable. But as it is right now, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm in saran wrap right now. Okay, this is actually probably an underrated piece. It might look basic to you, but it's not when you put it on. This long sleeve zip jacket. This is not seamless. You can see there's a ton of seams everywhere right on the front. But the thing is, is I didn't think much about it. I was like, oh, well, this is, this is a nice piece. It's cute. When I put it on though, it literally snatched the waist. It was crazy. I think it's not only the material that's just hugging in, but it's also the way they contoured it as well. That contour looks like that bodycon fit. This seamed contour really highlights the waist. It really just brings everything in, cinches it so nicely. I was shook when I saw it, I was like, damn. And it's very, very comfy. Now, unlike that other long sleeve, this is very true to size. I wouldn't suggest sizing up or down, but if you're in between, then you can size up. This is super body fit. Not only does it look good at the waist, but when moving around, it really doesn't move a whole lot. It will bag up in the midsection if you're doing a ton of movements. It's the same exact material as the shorts I shared in the beginning that are more yoga styled. So it's got that buttery, soft, sleek feel to it. Jackets like this could be hit or miss for me. They have to fit appropriately and be comfortable at the same time. This does both. This checks my boxes. There's just no pockets. That's the only... <laughs> only thing. I really can't expect it with this being so form-fitting to have functional pockets as it is, but where are the thumb holes though? Where are they at? It's no excuse there. Let me know if you're interested in shopping this launch. What are your thoughts? What are you looking to snag? If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below and keep an eye out for my Instagram stories and YouTube shorts where I'll be going more in depth with the Urban Collection. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.